Welcome, dear students, to week, five, to week four. In this week, we will start talking about the energy and life. In this part, we will talk mainly about the plant cell and the process of photosynthesis. Now, before talking and going in detail with the photosynthesis, we need to understand where energy comes come from and why is it essential to, to life. Okay, so we need to describe the AT, what is ATP and what is, uh, is it short for and why is it useful to the cell. Then we need to describe what happened during the process of photosynthesis. Now, as we all know, photosynthesis is a process that happened in the plant cell only, not in the animal cell. The photosynthesis is a process where the plants convert carbon dioxide and water by the presence of sunlight to convert it into a sugar and what and uh, oxygen as a byproduct. Now, this is, go this is going on as a chemical energy and as a source of ATP, which is uh, the adenine triphosphate. It's a shortcut for the source of energy inside the cell. This is a process where it starts by releasing, releasing the energy inside the cell. We will talk about it and how the cell use the ATP to, to perform their, uh, their daily, uh, daily um, work. Then uh, we will talk about autotrophs and heterotrophs, how they are different from each other. What does it mean when we talk about autotrophs, which is what we mean about, uh, which is the plant cells, and heterotrophs, and what is the difference between them. Then we will go on with the 9.2 about photosynthesis as an uh, overview. What is photosynthesis? Starting off where this has happened and uh, where exactly in the cell plant. Now, we will start always by talking about chlorophyll and chloroplast. So... When we are talking about chlorophyll, then we are talking about the light. This is we need that we need sunlight, and this has to go with a pigment, certain pigmentation that's found inside the chlorophyll, uh, which is the green one. And this one, it's a, a photosynthetic uh, a organism, use pigments to age to capture the energy from the sunlight and convert it into what into sugar and oxygen. Chloroplast, we have. We will talk about the anatomy of the chloroplast and the stroma, how do they collect energy, and how, where we find it inside the leaf of the plant uh, in the plant cell, okay? We will have a simple, uh, a simple uh, overview of the photosynthesis, uh, with a, uh, how do we write it, uh, the, uh, the reactant in word and in uh, as a symbol, then we will talk about the two types of photosynthesis, which is the light-dependent reaction and the light-independent reaction. After we get through all of this, then we will go to uh, the process of photosynthesis, which is 9.3. During this, uh, this lesson, we will, we will explain what happened during the light-dependent reaction and what happened during the light-independent reaction, how they are different from each other, and identify the factors that affect the photosynthesis. The two steps of reactant that happened, which is the light-dependent and light-independent reaction, uh, we will talk about them in details. We, as you can tell, how do they convert energy? Now, light-dependent reaction, it's called, I uh, will use energy from the sunlight direct to produce ATP, NAD, pH, and oxygen. And we will talk exactly what is the mean of the NAD, pH. Now, the light-dependent reactions, it's okay inside the thylakoid of the chloroplast. We will go through them also in details and explain how do they perform this work. As you can see, this is the CD structure or the CD shape. It's called the thy uh, thylakoids where, where it happened. Thylakoid contain clusters of chlorophyll and the protein known as a photosystem. So this is the one that are responsible or help found inside the leaf of the plant that are responsible for the uh, uh, photosynthesis. Now, in light-dependent reaction, we use energy from sunlight to produce oxygen. This is number one. Number two, they convert ADP, which is adenine diphosphate, and NAD, NADP plus into energy carries, uh, carrier ATP, which is adenine triphosphate, and NADPH. As you can tell now, here we converted the NADP plus into NADPH, the adding hydrogen atom. As you can see with the highlights in here, we will go through them in details. Now, Photosystem, light energy is absorbed by electrons in the pigments found within the photosystem too, as you can see here. Now, increasing the electrons energy level, this high uh, energy electron, this is the high energy electrons found in here. They absorb light energy and produce high energy electrons, splits the water molecules, releasing the hydrogen ions that they will use in the NADP plus and what and oxygen. 
Electron transported chain. They use the electron uh, transported chain, which is a, ser uh, a series of electron carries protein shield with a high energy electron during ATP generation reaction. This is under the microscope how it's look like. Now, photosystem one, it's where electrons are uh, uh, re-energized, and the second electron transport chain transfer electrons from NADP plus to produce NADPH, as you can see. This is, we will talk about the hydrogen uh, ion movement, and the, the hydrogen ion movement is the, from the pl uh, splitting of the water and the ATP formation from ADP and vice versa. This is the process in details. Now, light dependent reaction summary. In reaction, in overall, this is the produce of uh, uh, oxygen gas and converted ATP and NADP plus into ATP and NADPH. Then we will go to the part where the light independent reaction, light independent reaction, they use ATP and NADPH, are used to synthesize high energy sugar, and this is the process in details. Six carbon, uh, carbon dioxide molecules from atmosphere combined with uh, six five carbon molecules to produce a 12 of a three carbon compounds, as you can see. Energy from ATP and high energy electron from NADPH used to convert the three carbon uh, molecules to higher energy forms in a cycle, as you can see in a cell. Now, there, we have factors that can affect uh, the production of this uh, uh, photosynthesis, which is these factors are uh, including temperature, light intensity, and availability of water. Some plants have adapted to extremely bright or hot condition. C4 plants and CAM plants are one uh, uh, examples for it. Thank you.